Medication for children with asthma. It depends on the, the age of the child and how much they understand and how compliant they are with what you're telling them. Uh, it's always the best to have uh, the child diagnosed properly by a licensed physician, of course, and then do a follow-up and uh, also keep a diary of what uh, triggers the asthma in the child so that you can monitor the child better. Uh, more education, the better of it with asthma. Um, getting your child to understand and to know that that child is, uh, is not different than another child is very important. It makes the child more compliant. Uh, but there are at least two types of medication that you will see uh, over and over, and one of those is albuterol, which relieves um, the asthma symptoms. It's uh, a bronchodilator. It opens up the bronchial tubes. And the other one is a corticosteroid, which is, uh, prevents attacks, and it decreases swelling in the airways, and that's a long-term uh, type medication. Uh, sometimes they're mixed, and you can put them both in a small cup, with a nebulizer and put a mask with large holes um, on the side of the child, on the side of the child, on the side of the mask, there's holes. And then the child can sit and read a book or they can watch TV and they can relax while they take their breathing treatments. So albuterol and corticosteroid can be mixed together in a nebulizer under a doctor's prescription. And uh, uh, follow up is most important. Uh, to be able to see if the medication is working properly on your child.